So I'm back with part four, the suffering of Christ and the seven last words that Jesus said before he was crucified and the 14 stations of the cross. We've looked at the first station, Jesus is condemned to death. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. And um, just in the last one that I did was the third uh, third sermon. Um, there was a few problems, but the first station, Jesus is condemned to death. The second station, Jesus takes up the cross, the burden of that cross, the humility and the forgiveness. He's able to take up that cross. And by the third station of the cross, Jesus falls for the first time. But then Jesus is pulled up and is encouraged. And all sorts of things that are going on, he is pulled up and encouraged to move on, to move forward. And as he's moving on, by the fourth station of the cross, Jesus meets his mother Mary. So the fourth station of the cross is Jesus meets his mother Mary. Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We all adore you, O Christ. We praise you because you are the Holy Cross. You have redeemed the world. Amen for that. And in in Lamentations of 112, Come all you who passed by the way, look and see whether there is a suffering like my suffering. In Lamentations 1 verses 12. So, In the uh, fourth station, Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. So the fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Jesus is following his path and takes takes him to the place where the power and the source of the strength to carry on. As they pull, as he pulls his life as he, put, as he sees that all his life his mother had taught him the meaning of the words to behold the hand that made of the Lord. Behold the hand that made of the Lord. So basically when Jesus meets his mother in the fourth station of the cross Jesus has the strength to carry on because he can see that all through his life that his mother had taught him the meaning of the words to behold the hand that made of the Lord. Now look at each and now they looked at each other's eyes, and she smiles at him. She smiles at Jesus, her son. And you can see that that inspires and helps and strengthens Jesus that she, that Jesus can see his mother's smile. And this helps and, and it has a, an effect of to, to have and to redeem the world of its sins. Mary knows the sorrow of every mother's heart. So as Mary meets Jesus on the fourth station of the cross, Mary knows the sorrow of every mother's heart, of every mother losing a child through violence or, or a tragedy long for such love and peace the love and the smile of Mary and the power of the gifts and when Jesus meets on the fourth station of the cross Jesus meets his mother the smile and the love of his mother gives him the power to move on to move forward to move forward. Mary knows the sorrow of every mother's heart, of every mother losing a child through violence or tragedy. And Mary longs for such love and peace and and loves and the power of the gifts is love. And this enables through Mary's smile to Jesus that Jesus in the fourth station of the cross Jesus meets his mother. Along as he's going along this path. Jesus, as he's going along this path, sees his mother and meets his mother. His mother is his power source and his strength to carry on 
from him seeing his mother. On the fourth station of the cross, Jesus meets his mother and he sees his mother and that gives him the power of the source of his strength. The power and the source of his strength is his mother. And that enables him to carry on because he knows by looking into the eyes of his mother that all his life his mother had taught him the meaning of the words behold the hand that made of the Lord behold the hand made of the Lord and they looked at each other in the eyes and he knew his mother's love and the source of his power and his strength was his mother's love and that was enable him to carry on the fifth station is that Simon helps Jesus carries his cross. Jesus is not able to carry the burdens on his own and looks at the humility and the gratitude. Jesus helps us through the power of Jesus and knows to carry. So through the power of Jesus, Jesus knows that he's not able to carry everybody's burden Jesus knows this and we know that we can carry through his humility and through the salvation of Christ that we can carry our own self burdens we can come to Jesus and ask for forgiveness so through the fifth station of the cross the fifth station of the cross Simon and Serene helps Jesus to carry the cross we adore you, O Christ. We praise you because you are the Holy Cross. You have redeemed the world. As they led him away, they laid hold of Simon and Serene, who was coming from the fields, and they put the cross beams on Simon's shoulders for him to carry along behind Jesus. Luke twenty three twenty six. Insults has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for the sympathy, but there was none. For the comforters, I found none. Psalm 69, 21. The Lord saw this and was aggrieved that the right did not exist. He saw there was no one and was appalled that there was no none to intervene. Isaiah 59, 15 and 16. The twelve accomplished him and also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and male ladies, Marys, called Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven devils had gone out of Jonah, the wife of Herald Stuart, Chazza, Susanna, and many others who were assisting them out of their means. Luke 8 and 1 to 3. O oh dear mother found of love, touch my spirit from above, make my heart with your accords, make me feel as you have felt, make my soul glow and melt, with the love of Christ my Lord. So the fifth station, Simon and Serene helps Jesus to carry the cross. We can help Jesus carry our crosses. And Jesus knows that we can self-help carry our own burdens and pray to the Holy Spirit and we're able to carry ourselves, our own burdens. Jesus is not able to carry the cross and Simon helps Jesus carry his own cross. So the fifth station of the cross, Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. The sixth station, Veronica. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ. We praise you because you, by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Since then the prophet, prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, Deuteronomy 34 and 10. So in the sixth station we see Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Jesus' journey at that time is brutal. Rejection. Rejection. No justice. And he's ever suffering. In the injustice and the inje rejection but we see that Veronica wipes the face of Jesus, a loving disciple wiping. And as she wipes the face of Jesus, the image of Christ is on the, fa on the cloth. The image of Christ, Christ's face is on that cloth. 
We behold his face of suffering. So as Veronica, a loving disciple, is wiping his face. And ever still, the Roman guards are mocking and mocking him and yelling at him and, and telling him to move on. But Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. And as she wipes the face of Jesus, we see one thing. We see that Jesus' journey at that time is a brutal journey. He's already gone through so much. And Veronica wipes the face of Jesus in the sixth station of the cross and can see and feel that Jesus' journey has been a brutal one, a rejection of an injustice. You can see on the face of Jesus the suffering and the injusti injustices and the rejection. But a loving disciple of, of Veronica wipes Jesus' face. And as she wipes Jesus' face, she wipes his face of the, the spit that has been spat on him and, and the mocking of his face and his body. And he, she wipes his face. And as she pulls away after wiping his face, you can see the image of Christ on the cloth that she wipes Jesus' face with. Behold the face of Christ that is suffering. So we see that in, in the sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Since then no prophet has arisen of Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, Deuteronomy 30.10. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their lands. 2 Chronicles 7.14 of the King James Version. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred was the look beyond a man and his appearance, beyond that of mortals. So shall he startle many nations because of him. Kings shall stand speechless. Esaias 52 verses 14 and 15. And Matthew 17 verses 2. His face became as dazzling as the sun. His face became dazzling as the sun and when Veronica wiped the face of Jesus and Veronica could see the rejection and the injustices and what he was suffering and the injustice and the rejection and after wiping his face the dazzling his face became dazzling as the sun in Corinthians 13 verses 12, now we see the indistinctively as a mirror, then we shall see his face to face. So Veronica was seeing this as, he, as Veronica wiped the face of Jesus. In Revelations 20, 22 verses 4, and they shall see his face to face and bear his name on their foreheads. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. Jesus falls for the second time at the seventh station of the cross. Jesus falls for the second time, stumbles and falls to the ground. And as he's staring at the earth, he knows. He knows by looking at the ground that dust, he knows we are d that we're dust. And the ground before him, dust to dust. And he knows that we've come from dust. He knows you are from dust. And the ground before him, the image of Jesus on the ground, is for us. That we come from dust. So as he falls for the second time, on the, as he falls for the second time, the seventh station of the cross we can see that he stares at the earth. Be near, the earth is near to him, and he knows you are from dust and the ground before and the image of Jesus. So the seventh station of cross, Jesus falls for the second time. 
And in John 5, 14, later on, Jesus...